Where's that? They can't can they sing? You better be quiet. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike Bill's food is amazing. So hello you guys. Uh we're late. Sorry. We're 22 minutes late. I apologize. Um, but today's gonna be really easy. We're gonna make um shoe pastry or eclair. You can use the same pastry to make um, the, the same dough to make the same pastry. So we're just gonna get started. I'm wash my hands again. Okay. Sorry, babe. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to walk Okay. Well, it's very, very simple. You're going to have eggs, flour, four eggs, room temperature, it has to be room temperature, a half a cup or one stick of. Well, this isn't going to be a, it's going to be a heated dough. So you want everything to be uh, room temperature to keep, to keep the, the dough tempered. Does it okay. affect the dough? It, it'll do what to do? Yes, it will affect the dough. Yes. So, um, like I said, it's one cup of milk, four room temperature eggs, um, three tablespoons of sugar, one half cup or one stick of butter, and a cup of flour. So, you're going to start by... You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pour in one cup of milk. You can't see me pouring the milk. Yeah, how much butter is that? Yeah, it's a half cup or one stick. One stick? Yes. How many do you mean? You just explain tabs. I mean, tabs. I didn't, I didn't, you can cut it, and you can cut it, you can dice it, you can shred it, it doesn't matter. Okay? 12 tabs, right? No, it's a half cup. But it has tabs, it's like 12 tabs, right? Okay. I'm going to use my cooking with Miss E wooden spoon. Yes, yeah, it's a half cup. Yeah, it's a half cup. And we're going to stir, but we don't, want to, we don't want it to boil, okay? So we're going to stir, stir, stir. Don't let it boil because if it, if it boils, it could curl a little bit. I might not be true. Though. I don't know. But it's not tested. You don't want to scold. The, you don't want. To, you don't want to boil. It's called scalding. It's called shoe. C H O U X. Okay, Vaughn is gonna stir here. My little sous chef for the shoe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sous chef. Mm -hmm. We have three tablespoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. Three tablespoons. We need to start using our mics. Mike, we need, to, we need to start on chop, sir. We need to do our mics after this. There we go. Just go ahead and stir that. I'm stirring? Yeah. We'll do some more. No, it doesn't work. It's not up to the fire. Right? It's not up to the fire. So what do we do? Start going. Don't let it go. Just take it off. Yes, because there's another step. There's another step. So I like eclairs. My favorite donut is a Boston cream, which I absolutely love. Vaughn hates it because he doesn't like that creamy consistency in his dough. You know what you do? It might be store ball because yours is okay, but the ones that you get in the house, maybe throw up. It's probably the preservatives. Probably so. So anyway, you're going to stir, 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 but don't boil. It's almost ready. No, you know, you, and the. You want me to let them see it? Yeah, we want them to see it just a little. Is that ready all of It's going to stir it. Now, while he's doing that, I'm going to add one In this? cup. Yes. Don't bring it over there. No, don't bring, don't bring it over there. Well, for them to see it, yes. Let them see it really quickly. You just want to make sure, and you want there to be like a coating on the back bottom of your bowl. That's what your uh, pan is going to be noticed. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to just dump the whole cup. We're not going to do it piece by piece. You dump the whole cup of flour. 
And this is all purpose flour. Not so fried. We'll shake it in and you gotta stir rigorously. Rigorously. Uh, okay. You don't want it to cook. Okay, it's cooking. Oh. The heat's too high. The heat's not too high. Just put it a little low. Just put it a little low, low dear. Okay. okay. Just keep stirring. Keep stirring. It's not turning into a dough. Look at rigorously. Get, get off of it, though. There you go. Done. See how easy it is, guys? Stirring. Stir. There should be a film on the bottom of your pan. That's fine. Okay? Form it into it like a ball. Stir it into it like a ball. Don't mash it into a ball. Stir it into the ball. <laughs> So it's almost like a root, okay, but it's gonna it's gonna form into a dough. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Yes, that, that film is, is perfect. That you know it's right. Yeah, what about you? It's it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. We'll turn it off. This is how it should look. Like a big root. Oh, I'm sitting there some chunk. Baby son. And this, this film around your pot is very, very normal. Okay? So we're gonna let that rest for about five minutes. But don't put it on the same burner, we want to cool down a little bit. Okay? So now I have four eggs in here. Some people put them in separately one by one. I have found that when you whisk them together, it comes out way better. For me, I'm not a pastry chef. So, you know. Everybody finds a method that works for them. That's a different one. Well, I know what the problem is. Okay. Now, some people make their own. Ugh. It's a counter, dear. It's a Talk about how horrible eggs are. I am, but we're going to clean it off anyway. There, is that better? Yes. Okay. What was I saying? No, I'm sorry, babe. Uh, some people make their own custard for their eclairs. But if you can't or don't have the time or don't have the ingredients that I don't need that in today, I use regular French vanilla flavor. Did you or, um, they read it? Okay. Yeah. Because when they look at the back, that's what I thought. Yeah, French vanilla. Okay. French vanilla. And I added a little bit of vanilla, some additional vanilla. Are you and so this has been sitting for about three hours because you want it to be cold. So you did something with all this time. I did. So I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge until we're ready. So my um my oven just broke day for yesterday. So it didn't break break. It still cooks. But the screen broke or something. Mm -hmm. So it's on 420, believe it or not. I can't see it. Anymore. Can't see it, but it's, it's on 420. Okay, so that means it's preheated. So you want your oven to be hot already. And um, just waiting to cool this dough down a little bit. Let me touch it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is stir again. Stir we're going to stir the eggs in here. Let me move this so you guys can see what he's doing up here. We're going to stir this into this, like one egg at a time. Just stir it like this. Just stir it until it's all combined. So it's going to break down again. Yes, it's mm -hmm. going to break down every time. So you're going to make this into four, okay? Four eggs. It's not going to be hard to put in there. I need to stir a little, a little more rigorously. You want to add the eggs while I um, stir it? We don't want this to. Um, we don't want the egg to cook. 
for some reason I can't go in circles well enough to satisfy you. So you that's not true. It's not rigorous enough. You don't want your egg to cook. And if, and if you have to be careful because it will have an eggy taste. You don't want that eggy taste. You don't want an egg yet. Egg. I'm sorry. Do you want an egg taste? You mean an egg? You want an egg yet? Not yet. Okay. I'm just making sure it doesn't have that eggy smell. That's what I was smelling for. Okay. Don't want it to. I'm going to do a foldy stir so that you don't just have it just washing all around the pot. That's so nasty. Don't give it that look. Mom's that like it looks nasty now. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's Diamond. Thank you. People are asking what you're making. Diamond. Uh, Do you make any players? Hey, Sharon Pippen. Sharon? Oh, shit. That's okay. I just read the whole thing. What's up, Sharon? Okay. All right. Next one. You'll get your arm work out on this one, y'all. My arm is tired. That's why I was trying to get Bob to do it in the first place. I did do it. I just did use it like the way I did. You do not see the truth. All right, baby, it's your turn to start. You have to, please. Oh, my arm. Oh, so just, oh my arm. Oh, this it's looks really more, bad. This, this looks like it did last week. Mm hmm. Why did you decide to make this at two in the morning? Well, you know I am when I can't sleep. I'll look up a recipe really quickly or I work on something that I hadn't tried before. And this one. Get your artworks? Not yet. Shit. Uh, we're working on the cursorization. No, we don't want to use a mixer. You can't. You, yeah. Some people use a mixer, but I like to get the consistency the, the, the way I want it to. Because sometimes when you use a mixer, you don't get all the sides. You're busy trying to have them to scrape and incorporate and scrape and incorporate. I'd rather know what the consistency is here. I like this because I don't have to clean the mixer. <laughs> That's teamwork for you, babe. Mm -hmm. Ready? And this is the last bit of it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put both of them together. Thank you. Stir, stir, stir. That's a that's a huge workout. Look at that. Instead of, <laughs> instead of looking over my shoulder, why don't you read some comments and answer them? Oh, that's good idea. Yeah. I hate to be micromanaging. I wasn't micromanaging you. Hey, chef. Hey, chef Nikki. Yay. What's up, chef? He's his arm, yeah, I, I promise it makes you feel like your arm is about to break. It's, it's a lot. Scrape the cup, Trina. It's more in there. This looks cup. good. Is it good now? No. Why? Yeah, because your egg is up on the side. I, can, I need a plastic, you know, the rubber one? Give me the rubber one. I can get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but no, you need to stir it. With... Well, can I have the rubber one, please? No, we're almost done. It's not going to happen. You need to use a wooden spoon. The breakfast is for a wooden spoon. I know, but to get it out, I'm going to need this anyway, so. Hello from Sydney, Australia. No. When we were in Australia, Tawanda was holding a koala bear. It was really the cutest thing ever. Those things carry for me. Yes, they do. That's why I wouldn't hold one. Gotta mm. be careful. That's good enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. And when you when you do it, you want to have a V when you pull it up. It's Ooh. supposed to be in a V shape when you pull it. And it is. Wow. That one had a cross at the end. But you see the mm -hmm. the taper. The yeah. V, yeah. All right, so now what I'm going to do. Oh, that's it going there? I can't buy my piping bag. 
but yeah, we have to fill this with this. Way. I'm not going to complain. I'm not. What do they say? Say the truth and shame the devil. Yes. Hey, from South Carolina, family in South Carolina. Oh, it's a great shape. Opera House. Are you from Cali? I'm so Cali. Can you please pin what you're making? It's uh, it'll be in the description. Okay. So. Tay from Baltimore says hello. Hey, Tay from Baltimore. So. So I didn't have a piping bag, so I just took a um a regular Ziploc bag and I put it in a cup. I put it in the cup for stability. That's the only reason why I'm using the cup. It, it serves no other purpose than to hold the bag. We can always refill the bag. It's fine. We can always refill the bag. Oh, so you're going to stop there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. See you when you cut one in, right? See what She's making a shoe. C H O U S. Hot day, a shoe. C H O U S. It's a dough, hot dough. Oh, no, no. That's not exactly what I was going to cut. It's too far. Huh? No, because it's big. about the size. It's too big. It's like, no, it's not. It's about the size you need your clairs to be. Okay. okay? Eclairs. There you go. Two eclairs, yeah. So, I line this with parchment paper. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take just a little bit. I'm a Chiefs fan this. too. Um, I actually like both teams, but we were at um, a, uh, a neighbor's house. A neighbor's house who likes the. Uh, the 49 or so. Oh, don't do that. R L T I C I E. Okay, there we go. And it will stick to. That's cool. Your cookie sheet without. Got it falling over. Okay, so we want nice size of Claire's. So the nice size oh, over here. Oh, that's for the water. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to put them in there. Okay. So we're going to make just a couple of eclairs. I thought you were making them. No, I am. I said we're going to make just a couple of eclairs. Should we hear what you I don't know. I'm going to make the, um, the inside too big, remember? I do. Maybe we can just do eclairs it. Do all the eclairs. Maybe. Whatever. What's up, Tony Tom? Eclairs. Uh oh, that one's shooting a little different. Oopsies. They can't all be pretty. Shoot. Thank you for that. I already did. So you can probably get six out of here, but. Which one Somebody said to ask you about Uncle Harvey from you. Oh my God. Uncle Harvey? Oh, no, Uncle Harvey. Hmm. Somebody just said that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that Thank was you. Just ugly. Just it's, not, it's not yet, but um, in a couple of days, three days. Now days. these pop up by steam. So you want to. What are you going to do with all and the clothes? Water. Hmm? What are you going to do with the other one? I'm going to do what? That. It'll keep. You actually keep it in the refrigerator. Are you going to stuff them with cream or chocolate? With, with, with uh, jello cream. cream. Jello cream. Pudding. Jello, jello pudding. Somebody made a candy cake. Nice. People are now talking about mad. Isn't that funny? How long have you known about it? You know, if, if you follow me, you've been you've known about it for about four years, haven't you? Because I didn't start doing it. Yeah, I, I did my first. Uh, 420. I did my first live video during the pandemic. So it would be four years. Good for you, April. But yeah, people are talking about it now, but, but you've known the benefits of it. And we'll get back to that in the not too distant future. 
Um, because there's some things, there's there like four or five things that I can show you that'll just make your life. It's just water for steam. Make your life so much better. Um, what is NAD? All right, might as well do it since do you have anything you need to say right now. Well, um, I just put in. Hold on. I just put the dough in uh, on 425, and I'm going to do that for 20 minutes. So, Bond can talk to you guys about that for 20 minutes. Yeah, well, hang on. Let me do that. Let me do that. Not least. So, let me wet. It's not bad. Wait a minute. I'm going to save this for another day. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I think that's a good idea. Anyway, hey, Bill. Open your trash can. So, NAD stands for nicotinamide, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It is it's derived from the food that you eat. It is, so you have everybody watching, newborn baby, everybody watching. You have approximately 34 trillion cells in your body and no cell in your body does anything without NAD. NAD is the fuel that runs every cell in your body. So when you're young, your body's efficient in mining it, right? Well, as you get older, it gets tougher. And the other part of it is, is that um, the food that we eat has been bastardized and changed and all of that. So the bioavailability of that just isn't there like it should be. So smart people, supplement like April, supplement with NAD. Now, they have the oral forms, but I don't like taking pills for a couple of reasons. I'll get back to NAD, but you need to know when you take a pill that if you're in the best of health and you're relatively young, the most you're going to get is 25 to 30% of whatever you take. So that means if you take 100 milligrams of something, your body is only truly activating or using 25% of that. So the rest of it goes into your stomach and it processes through the liver and kidneys and it's just wasted. So if let's just say this is not scientific, but let's just say this right here is um, 100 milligrams, right? And you take it in your stomach, you're gonna get that much of it. What I can do, what you can do, if you take uh, anything, all things, pain, pain relievers, whatever, you take them intravenously, Instead of taking 100 mLs, you can take that much and do the same job. So if you're looking at a pain reliever, because we have uh, intravenous uh, pain relief, and it will kill your pain for a week when you take this much as opposed to taking a pill that's this much. And the other thing is, when you take this pill, it's not going to kill your pain for a week. Well, when I put something in your vein, you get 99% of whatever it is. So it's just more efficient. Yes, it comes in IV therapy. Yes, yes. And if you look on my page, actress, you can't see the last part it went up, but actress, um, if you look on my page, you'll see me doing them. You'll see me giving myself one. You'll see all of that. But anyway, that's the best way to take it. But anyway, so NAD is what gives your body fuel, okay? It's what keeps you young. It's what... Um, Gives you energy. You have zero energy without NAD. Every bit of energy you have came from NAD. Okay, so um, if you take it a couple of things happen. The first thing is is that you get a rush of energy. You'll see that your eyes tend to work better. Your sense of hearing uh, improves. Your sense of smell. Your sense of taste because. If your cells are flush with the fuel that they need, they operate at an optimum level. So um, taking that, first of all, it makes you feel better. But the other thing it does is that your, your cells in your body do a bunch of different things. They, they're, they're responsible for 100% of the functions that go on in your body. One of the functions of your body is making other cells. So when you're flush with that, you build a higher quality cell. That's where the anti-aging prospects of, of properties of that come from. So it's, it's really, you can Google it, 
or you can just go through my page and look at Matt and I talk about it for hours at a time. But it's uh, it's it's a great it's a great product. If you can't get intravenous um, Matt, I would still say go ahead and take a pill because something's better than nothing. But if you have the uh, the ability to get an IV, that's the most efficacious way to do it. What? Put your hand there. For the what? No. Sorry. Okay, so about, oh gosh, it's like 14 more minutes. Well, just, I mean. I wasn't going to make the chocolate. You want to entertain her? Entertain. No, should I make the chocolate? Well, I mean, I, that's part of it, isn't it? Well, to put on the top, yeah. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Yeah, like, did you sit there and ask, like, you don't know how to feel fine? No, that is not what I said. That is not what happened here, sir. That is not what happened here, sir. It's three quarters thick about it. You didn't get all of this. Oh, so you did use a plus, you used a plus one anyway. Not to cook, though. Oh. This isn't edible, right? Because it's got raw hand in it. Correct. She left a lot. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little of my handy dandy cooking with Miss E. Spoons. I love the food. All right. She was supposed to be here cooking, but the weather's too bad for her to come out because I was supposed to have a night off. Okay. For those of you who follow us for a long time, this is some of the um, the, the cocoa, cacao, cacao that uh, Bonnie and I made in St. Lucia. Yeah, this so is this, this is 100%. Okay. And you know what? We make I, with our own hands. I didn't know. I didn't know how terrible it tastes <laughs> without um, without sugar in it, but when people say chocolate is good for you, it's good for blood pressure and all this, they're talking about, they're talking about this. They're not talking about a Snickers bar. They're talking about this real stuff. She starts laughing at the joke. So you never really hear a joke that she tells you because she starts, uh, she, uh, if that ain't taking my sister. Oh, from Mississippi, what's up? I got a friend who's headed there right now. Glutathione is, okay, my cocktail is a bunch of. Uh, and chocolate? She's adding chocolate now. Uh, my cocktail is a bunch of, uh, of B vitamins primarily. Um, you could add good thyroid to it. Okay. Into that chocolate liquefies. I would suggest to you if you're doing that, do your IV separately because glutathione doesn't play well with everything else. Um, it's kind of. It, it okay when you put it with other things, it degrades and it degrades other things. 
No, I don't need a haircut. I'm doing something. Anyway, um, it does smell good. It's, it, it smells really good. It just doesn't taste good. It smells like you think chocolate would, but it doesn't taste like that. Now, I must say this. When you are cooking with 100% uh, cacao like that, it could, it could be a little bit gritty. Um, and it's super bitter. Hey. Okay, do your thing, because i got something else to say. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of powdered sugar. I know it sounds like a lot, but I promise it's not. It's so bitter. It's so bitter. It's so bitter. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. So this is going to counteract the overpowering taste that olive oil sometimes has. And I would recommend maybe like an avocado oil or grapeseed oil because they have less of a flavor yeah. than that dominant uh, you olive oil. Want, you don't want to taste, well, if you like olive oil, it's okay, but if you don't, you don't want to taste it. At any rate, so a couple of weeks ago, hey, June, hey, 60, um, what do I think about fibromyalgia? I think I think uh, stem cells will help that. We'd have to talk at a different time because that's another topic. But um, we had a talk, we had a, a, a talk a couple of weeks ago about this and how I hate this, all right? So people think I'm making it up, making it too big of a deal, but they, they got this set so that they know exactly when you're gonna need a new one. You can't ration it out like you can the normal one, so watch. So if I just push this as lightly as I can, watch how much comes out. Look at that. You see that? You see that, see all that stuff? I don't want that much, right? So let's say I'm, I'm washing a cup. I don't want that. But now I've used all this to wash one cup. Watch this. This part right here? Watch. Bing. Look at that. I can do one dot. I can do one dot. So my point is, is that tablespoons of milk. this is a good marketing, uh, a really good marketing campaign with this. But if you want to vary the amount of soap that you use, get this one. And this one's super. I'm gonna stop talking. No, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna stop talking as much about soap, but it makes me mad. But now that I have this one, which is maybe paid one twenty nine for this, this is three ninety nine, and I bet you I can do twice as many dishes with this as I could. They're not even the same color. Look at that. They're not even the. Color. Yes, you can. They're not even the same color. It's a different batch, babe. That's a different batch, all right. This is a, a saw you coming batch. Um, this is the time we could add like a little bit of grand marnier, 
or you know some kind of Cointreau or something like that. You get a nice little orange or orangey flavor. Hmm? Is, is it orange flavor? Yeah. No, I do. I have it. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not saying you have it. Of course you don't have it. No. But um. But the people that want to do it. You know. So you'll have that orangey chocolate taste. No, I put one drop. Thank you in the bag on soap. I'm just saying. It's, it's, I'm sorry. It's such in there. Look at it. <laughs> Everywhere. I can't. One, I can't. One, one, one drop. Look at that. One drop. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see the sun, babe. Suds for days. One drop. I got to get that up. One <laughs> drop. Oh, the sugar. Okay, so we have to make this one. Yeah. This is real thick, a little more money. I add maybe a little more milk to it. Every time you cook, you say a word I've never heard before. Why? Well, it's just special. You heard me say, I said a rouge, and rouge is a color. Rouge is red. You We're talking about rouge. You said rouge earlier. Oh, I said that, that's um, that's a uh, blush. Rouge. It's, it's also red in French. But we, but we are in the secret. Well, I'm just saying. You said it. I'm like, what's red? I mean, but why? Why? Why I say rouge and then? I don't, I, don't, I don't know, dude. Maybe you're making red pastries. I don't know. I never. I just never heard it used in the kitchen before. It's all the same. Yeah, it's gonna be like even nice little. Ooh, perfect. You know what? I bet people better stop leaving these dishes in the drying thing and put them away. Every time I look at it, it's got more stuff in it. Mm -hmm. well, I'm sorry, yeah. You, so I'm not talking about you. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. I'm going to say something I said. Yeah. Not because you're going to sing, just because it's, no, it's, 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 it's the it same was, song was, all the time. It was uh, it's NSFW. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a fan of you. Oh. oh, what? Nothing. Wait, I need to get some foil real quick. Hold on. Yeah, but that, that's just more, right? If I can do it now, we're just killing time. You know what we need to go back to? Mm. We need to go back to a topic of the week. 
because it'll keep us oh, from having to make anything yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I'm not making anything up. I just yeah. You know, making up songs and words and There's nothing wrong making phrases. up songs. It's almost cakey almost, though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's, it is. Um, it's not like that song. It's because I'm way too busy. I, I, I can't comment on it. See, I can smell the egginess. I, I, I can't smell the egginess. I can. I can. Dang it. We, you didn't stir rigorously enough. Also, it's my fault. Okay. Time's off. Again. I'm going to turn it off the oven. That's. You can't see the break. This is broken. I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. So, what 10 minutes? We turn the oven off. Oh, it's what it's like. It's steam for 10 minutes. Yeah. Let that steam get on through. So, Bounty, that's what I use. They like mini towel. Yes. I don't know about these ones. You know who We don't usually get these. These are a little flimsy. Whatever this is, don't Yeah, get it. I, I told them I don't bottles anymore. You're trying to save money. <laughs> nope. So, they're yeah. already saving money. They live here for free. Exactly. So, right. Exactly. So, I won't, I won't back, go back to Bounty and quickly pick her up. Uh, damn, that gives me such a few. We back no commercials from Bounty's. Well, I don't care. I'm just saying I like it. It's okay. <laughs> mm. All right. I gotta rewash my hands because I just scratched my face. Yo, for real, this is like, t- it's like it's taking forever. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It's taking forever. It takes what it takes. We went on at so thirty five minutes of cooking time. We went on at so twenty minutes after. It's only eight oh three. So you got seventeen more minutes. To do. Yeah. And if they don't like it, they'll eat. If they, if they got something to do, they want to eat. They'll eat. Right. So I said, "Well, tag belly, <laughs> tag belly boo." Right. We're cooking your clears. Somebody that's said gonna that's turn all the way by. Yeah. Those are vegan. Do y'all fry chicken in there? Anyone? In the kitchen, I guess. I don't know. In the kitchen, but typically where you fry chicken is in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> they said, do we fry in there? I mean, we're in the kitchen, yeah. We fry chicken in the kitchen. You know, I can't see What's up, Connecticut? Eclairs. Eclairs, Eclairs, Eclairs. On powder wash. The power wash. Yes, yes, and yes. What is that? Oh, that's the, the spray. The see that? Yes. That right there, you can't. I like that. You know what? You got some. <laughs> they didn't want to see. I'm, I'm Actually, we need to start tagging. Uh, Don, we talk about them literally every week because of Don. Every week. Hey, Donnie. <laughs> He's he looking like so big. I can't. Mm-mm. They asked about the coffee. The coffee? Tuxedo brand coffee. I'm gonna tell you what. I was gonna brew us a couple of a couple of mugs when the eclairs were ready. So we'll have some tonight. And Bon is really gonna look for this soap, guys. He is really gonna look for this soap. I don't think we have any more, dearest. Right here, You don't have any refills? Oh, we got refills. We got some refills. No, we don't. We need a for a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> for a dollar twenty-five. You're obsessed with the soap, there, but put the soap down. Walk away from the soap. The regular price is a dollar ninety-nine. You can wash as many dishes as you want with this, and aren't going in the dishwasher. That's not good. Mm-hmm. Six more minutes. Six minutes. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you know that song. You know that song. I know every song you, you're talking about. I just wish you wouldn't do it. Just a little restraint here. Somebody said he's right, though. Thank you. Somebody said, hey, the coffee is delicious. Thank you. Ugh. Don't need any cream or sugar. That's yeah, all that's I true. Use, yeah. What's up, Ghana? So, for people that don't know, Ghana is one of the five countries that will give a brown person their citizenship. All you got to do is show up. Kirkland paper towels with the yes. Yeah. No. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Now, here's the thing. I did a thing with those. You can actually wet it and hold a bowl with it. Did you break the bowl? No, it didn't. No, it held it. 
<laughs> if I put a bowl on that, it's going to be broken. Yep, see, obsessed with cleaning products. Oh Thank you. Yes, the uh, nice. and the Delatry. Yeah. Smells good when brewing. Okay, thank you. That's awesome. You know what? Do a video and tag us in it, and we'll add it to the um, add it to the uh, to the page, the IG page. If you send it to us, we'll do it. Don't sleep on the Delatry, y'all, for real. Or if you're really in a pinch, go to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Are you going to use this anymore because it's trash? It it's up? a delatory. Okay. Can I throw this away? Yes, I was going to throw it away. <laughs> almost done, guys. Four minutes. I'm scared. I'm scared to look at it because I know I know what's wrong tonight. Cause just because I didn't want to tell Vaughn he was right. So, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do with this? Everything can be perfect. I'm trying to let this cool up. What do you do with it? What with what? What are you looking for? Yeah. What are you looking for? Far, where is it? Where it? What's an it, dear? No, no, no. It was in here yesterday. What is an it? Oh, my gosh. Somebody put it in the pantry. Is, is, that, is that okay? Yeah. I don't know, dude. All right, guys. Mm, mm, mm. What coffee are we talking about? We're talking. Oh, we're talking about good coffee. Tuxedo brand coffee. Yes, it's our brand. We're very excited about it. It's doing very well. Go to tuxedobrandcoffee.com. Go ahead and subscribe. This is. This bag has my name all over it because for the first, the fifty first subscribers, they get a um the first fifty. The first the first fifty subscribers <laughs> get an autograph bag. So this is the bag that I was using for practice on. Because she doesn't know what you need to write her name. No, I'm no because there were different pens there oh, actually. Oh. So as you can see, this one had a thin fine point, that one had a thicker point. That one was just, I messed up on. I was trying to test the, another pen right there, so that's not what that is, Vaughn. Ah, oh, damn, I'm glad I didn't do that. Damn. That's sugar. What, what'd you think it was? I thought that was salt, is this salt? Yes, that's salt. But I used this in the ingredients for the cooking with well, I was about to put it on my stuff, I'm glad I didn't. Where's the, where's the... Yeah, like that salt. Oh, sugar is in there. Stupidly where it goes, Just a tad. Maybe some more oil. <laughs> <laughs> These are the remnants of the bread that I made. If you guys saw that. Look at that. Look how it squishes nicely. Mm. This is the bread. The last part of the bread that she made. I think I burned it. I did. It's still steaming. But this is the bread she made last week. It's probably too hot for you to bite, honey. It's too hot. <laughs> Maybe we're one for one. But I'm not. Accountability. I'm not going to throw it away. I didn't suggest that you did. Why would you? <laughs> All right, guys, one more minute. One more minute. Then we get to see, see how they look. Hey, Stan. I don't know. Oh, Nikki, the blue flowers that you got for Emily, they were absolutely lovely, by the way. Blue roses. Oh, my goodness gracious. Minute 15 seconds. That's a little bleach. Of course you do. But the bottom is gonna come. You said they smell bleach. So they know you keep cleaning. Yeah. Yes, we do. I hate to smell food after I eat it. You hate to smell of food. I hate to smell of food like after I eat it. 
I don't understand. You don't like to smoke food after you eat it. You ever walk into somebody's house and you know they fried chicken the day before? I hate that. <laughs> what? I don't like it. Where did they come from? From past experiences. I don't like it. Did they use old oil or something? I don't know what they did, but they didn't use bleach. Cooks the best of you two. Hurry. I, I barely cook at all. Cook. Right? Facts, right? I cook when she's not cooking. If you weren't clean before, you're not going to be clean after. You're not going to just suddenly just get OCD and you just can't help but clean your eyes. No, it's nasty. All you, all, the only thing you did was collect more dust and collect more cans of lights off that you're not going to use. So. Somebody said you have the patience of Joe. She does. And hand sanitizer is not to wash your hands with. You refreshed your hands with them. If you're a pinch you use, in a pinch you use, you know, a hand 
ten times, but some people you do know That's not a you, you put it on your hands and it spreads it around. It spreads it around. If your hands are dirty, it's spreading the dirt around and it's just gonna dry up. It's not alcohol. Dry alcohol dirt. So like, it's crazy. Not the problem anything. with antibacterial soap though. It kills good That's bacteria true. too. So be careful. Looks you, should taste this, Nick. you should taste this bread, it's incredible. Take a shot every time you're mission a thing for them. They could have been drunk. <laughs> Why is that? Well, they took a shot every time you talk about cleaning products. Ooh, don't do that. Hey, for someone from St. Louis. Hmm. What up, Jesse? Oh, yes, I was not hating on Emo's Pizza. I don't like Emo's Pizza because it's nasty, in mm. my opinion. I think that's the same thing. I don't like the little squarey pizzas. It's like crackers, and then you put toppings on crackers. I don't like that. Stop that. Stop that. That's not what, that's not what. For, I said, in my opinion. No, well, your opinion stinks. Emo's is great. What's up, Rock? Hey, Charmaine, how are you? You, you, Thank you so I mean, couldn't make it to our wedding, mm -hmm. but when I started looking for rings for you, her ring is the first one I sent you a picture of. You'll meet her. She's very cool. A coffee is ready to order. So I mean, can cook. Have us over for dinner. So I'm asking, what do you have in your dip? Oh, um, olive oil with Parmesan cheese, salt, and too much pepper. <laughs> That's too much, but it's good. Okay. It's like the same amount of pepper I would have in a baked potato. It didn't. These, are way, these are way softer than they should be. They should be harder. See, I like them soft, though. They get soft once you put the, they, the stuff in. Did. They were always kind of. Good up, Philly. I have to stick holes in it. I think that's smart because of the anatomy. See how this goes right through? Well, I'm saying, instead it's of you, because they're hollow on the inside. Go ahead, I think they're smarter. We, we used one hole last time and expected to spread the whole distance. Okay. I'm going to put the cream inside. Argentina would be. Oh, Jesus. Aren't you guys on Mountain Time? You guys are on Mountain Time, right? So it would be 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. your time. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think our team is on Mountain Time. The most pizza is so good. Somebody said, I need a Braxton and Clark Sisters collaboration. Man, I, honest to God, I talked to Mama Jackie about that a couple of years ago, but it did not happen. So we want to see him in the next week. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we only have two that we're making. Because it's not right. Super easy, guys. 
Which I know that is a kitchen. You can't just suck it in from the bottom with the plunger. No. It's too thick. That's like, oh, yeah, that's like real jello. Well, because it's jello brand, so. Yeah, but it's got that gelatin consistency. Why are you wasting so much? Because I want air pockets when I'm doing this. Yeah. See, like that one. Oh, wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that one. Look at What are you going to do with that? You're going to save it too? What? The extra gelatin. Yeah, just put it in the freezer. I'm going to freeze the freezer and just eat some gelatin. So. Read this. Here comes the good, that, that's the, did you, and how much sugar did you put in it? Tell me. Um, did you have to put sugar three, in cacao? Two tablespoons. You're not going to like it. I shouldn't say that. I didn't like it. You might like oh, the bitter no. stuff. Zakari? Yeah. What's up? It's mine as well. Well, one of them, the one who the one who was hard hit was uh, in um Ooh, that's hot. Was in uh, the hospital for a little while, but she's gotten better. And the one that you saw on the show was doing fine. Perfect. She's, she's 81 and literally can still run up and down stairs. That's incredible. You're a very intelligent cook. Someone's learned a lot from you. Man, you have no idea. You have no idea. It's, it's like, this is just, what you guys get to see is just the surface. I've seen her make. Okay, so she said, what do you want for dinner? I'm like, I don't know. She goes, I'll make chicken parmesan. And then we um, we didn't have any uh, pasta sauce. So she just made it. And it was better than the pasta sauce we typically use. It works. You have no idea when there's an excellent cook. So, did, you, did we get a good shot of these eclairs? I don't know. We're going to move this one because that's just, that's just sad. You want to take this? Mm -hmm. hold it up. You want to hold it up yourself? Yeah. Oh, man, this is shit. See, they are hard. They're sliding. Mm -hmm. See that? They're sliding. So. That's it. They got to cool down awesome. and those are your legs. So we'll see you guys next week. Can you? Do they have to be there? They're, they're, they're um, lighter than that. They can be lighter. Okay. They can be lighter. So you want this to completely cool before you cut into it. Why? Or their pudding will slide out. Gotcha. Okay. So let me know if you guys make them. Let me know what you think. I, I like saw them. those ones last week. They're incredible. So. See you later. Thank you for watching.